Well, hello again. It is I, and I am trying something new. Uh, spaghetti squash. And I am going to attempt to take my completely massacred, <laughs> this is my massacred, spaghetti squash that I baked in the oven. Um, and I'm going to try to turn it into healthy spaghetti. And then, on top of my healthy spaghetti, is my homemade tomato sauce. And right now, that would be a fairly vegetarian meal, uh, except that I'm totally gonna add ground beef and make it a beef sauce, and then I'm totally gonna smother it with lots of cheese on top. <laughs> but um, this is my first attempt to make friends with the spaghetti squash. Oh my goodness, look how easy this just falls apart. Okay, so just so you know, because I've never tried to cook spaghetti squash, Holly said I should try it, is um, I saw somebody on Google, uh, you, you know, you slice it, or you clean out the pumpkin seed looking middle, you slice it up, um, and I just coated it with avocado oil, and I baked it for at 400 degrees for like 45 minutes or so until it just looked like it was ready to go, and wow, look at that. So easy. Okay, I'm getting excited. So this is how much spaghetti squash came out of one squash. And uh, I am so excited because I just snuck in a bite of this squash in this uh, tomato sauce. And holy cow, it's just like spaghetti. I'm so excited. Okay, moving on. We're going to add the meat and cheese now and mess it up. So I'm not having as much success with my second squash. Look how nice and stringy and spaghetti-like this came out, like so easy. This one's coming out like mush, like, like squashy chunks, you know, like not like that. We have a guest chef in the kitchen today making some carbs, pad thai. Okay, so I don't know what I did wrong, but if you know anything about spaghetti squash and you can tell me why these are not as stringy like this one, please comment below. Thank you. All right, so making this spaghetti squash was much more pain in the butt. Stop talking on my video. Making this was much more of a pain than I thought. I'm hoping that it is worth it. I'm putting my meat sauce on the Pyrex, and I'm going to put cheese, and then I'm going to bake it in the oven and make it all yummy. Okay, and there you have it, folks. That is with melted cheese on top. Should have been mozzarella, but all I had was Colby Jack. And those little weird squiggles are sliced fresh basil from the garden. So I've got butternut squash on the bottom. I got meat tomato sauce in the middle, and I got cheesy stuff on top. Let's see who likes it. Okay. All right, people, I'm looking for feedback here. There's the yummies. So, Riley, have you eaten yet? Off camera. Okay, my embarrassed family. Sorry. All right, we'll, we'll look at the food as you discuss. What did you think of this? Fantastic. Tasty. Fantastic. That's the most enthusiastic thing I think I've heard you say. And you? Okay, I'm waiting. This is the video is going to be 100 it's miles healthy. long. It's a healthy. It's healthy. Yeah, we don't want to be on. We don't want to be on. I just want to know if it tastes good. We know it's, it's healthy. Great. This is completely keto. It's great. Okay. Great. Enthusiasm. I love it. <laughs> non carbs. Okay, there you have it, folks. This is the one with the bowl of noodles. <laughs> <laughs>